Okay, so in this problem we're told a laser beam is directed at the moon 380,000 kilometers from Earth. The beam diverges at an angle theta of 1.4 times 10 to the minus 5 radians. What diameter spot will it make on the moon? So we have the Earth here, and it's going to be shooting this laser onto the moon, right? And you can kind of imagine it's firing like this, right? It has some angle theta, and then this diameter is, you can imagine it like a circle. So this side of our triangle here is like the diameter of the circle, and it's going to have some angle theta, where L is the distance from the Earth to the moon, okay? So they give us that value, uh, L I'm calling it, so L is the distance from Earth to the moon. We know it's 3.8 times 10 to the 8 meters, uh, which they give us 380,000 kilometers, and to convert it, you would just multiply it by 1,000, because we know there's 1,000 meters for every kilometer, so the kilometers would just cancel there. And then uh, 380,000 times 1,000 is 3.8 times 10 to the 8, uh, and then now it's in meters. Uh, and they also give us theta, which is the angle, 1.4 times 10 to the minus 5. And what we're trying to find is this value d. Uh, and the way we do it is by using trig. So I know the tangent of an angle, right, is equal to, uh, tangent is opposite over adjacent. So the opposite side is d, and the adjacent side is l, right? Opposite to the angle is this, and the adjacent side is right here. And so we know the tangent of theta equals d over l. And, uh, right, because you can see this forms a triangle here. That's the main trick to this problem. Uh, and we know the tangent of a value, and this is another trick. The tangent of a value, if the value is extremely small, the tangent of theta is just equal to theta. So if you have a really small angle, it's really just equal to that value. So we can just rewrite this since theta is extremely small, right, just as theta equals d over l, right? And we're just going to plug in that value. Uh, and then if we wanted to solve for the diameter, we just multiply both sides uh, by L. So you'll get the diameter equals L times theta. So L is the length, right, the distance between them, which we said was 3.8 times 10 to the 8 meters, right? And then theta, we want to leave in radians because radians uh, is essentially unitless. So our answer is going to be in, uh, it's going to be in meters, which is what we want. So 1.4 times 10 to the minus 5 is our angle theta now. And then it's really just a matter of plugging it in. So 3.8 times 10 to the 8 times 1.4 times 10 to the minus 5. That'll give you a value or a diameter of 5320. And so this is going to be in meters. So essentially, uh, the diameter of the spot, the circle it's going to make, is 5,320 meters. Right? So uh, this is going to be your diameter. And yeah, so that's your answer. Just a quick rundown of how we did it. All we did was use trig knowing that this was a triangle. Uh, and then, yeah, so we just use tangent of theta equals uh, opposite over adjacent. And then we knew tangent of theta is going to just be equal to uh, theta because the value is extremely small. And then, yeah, it's just a matter of solving and plugging in. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be your answer here. And hopefully you found this video useful.